Hello and welcome to this virtual production vlog. My name is Matt Workman and today we're going to be looking at some brand new Unreal Engine 4.25. So while that may not be as exciting as Unreal Engine 5 itself, it's still pretty cool. It's very new and we're going to be specifically shooting this helicopter scene that you can see here. And the thing to check out is the new atmosphere, new to 4.25, and the volumetric clouds. So the clouds that we're looking at here, these are actual 3D clouds that react to light. So pretty awesome. So uh, as we're getting into this, you can see that right now I have the ability to use the inertia wheels and we can do some really smooth panning and tilting. And the most new thing that I have here today really is the fact that now I'm moving the sun while I'm shooting. So you can kind of see that here. And if you look closely at the clouds, they're actually reacting uh, just like they should exposure wise. Now the deep volumetric, I haven't tuned that up, so it's kind of just staying very light blue. but uh, it's pretty awesome to work with like actual 3D clouds in this case. They're almost 3D, they're ray marched, it's very close. The other thing that's very new is that I'm going to hit this and scoot back just a little bit to about here, is that we can now switch to the handheld camera very quickly, like this. So it's a slight reframe, but now I'm shooting handheld uh, instead of using the wheels. And I could also put this on a tripod or something smoother or a jib, and I can switch smoothly between these two depending on what I think the shot needs, uh, which was something new about the system that I really need to have happen. So I'm gonna switch that back. So I'm back on the inertia wheels and those are the main changes that I've updated. We're in 4.25, new atmosphere, new sun, volumetric clouds, easy handheld, and the ability to change the sun lighting, uh, sun and sky lighting dynamically while we're shooting. So for the rest of the vlog, I'm just gonna shoot some coverage and see if we can get some cool shots out of this. Okay, so here's the shot. We're looking forward and we see a little person. And then I'm going to smoothly pan and tilt back over to the shot of the helicopter. Not the best shot in the world, but that's the shot we got. So the other new thing that I have set up right now is that I can do handheld really quickly. So I'm gonna click the Xbox controller and then I can pick this up and you'll see that I'm already tracking uh, my handheld camera here and roughly in the right position. So I'm going to move my camera stage, uh, hold on, I'm going to move my camera stage down. I feel like the skylight could probably come up a little bit, oh yeah, for sure. Let's bring the sky back up to about that much, cool. Okay, so same shot handheld, there's some weird shadow stuff happening. So we're kind of like in a handheld, so there's the person. And we spin back around to the helicopter. Weird shot, why would a shot like this be handheld? I'm not sure, but just wanted to show that I have this going back and forth and there's some weird shadow stuff happening. I think it's the volumetric clouds. I'm still learning how to do that. Okay, so there it is. And as it comes in, we're gonna look back like this. There's probably been better shots created, but uh, there we go, we kind of land here. And so while we're sitting here, I think this is kind of an interesting shot. Uh, maybe just giving like a little bit of motion to this as things move and he's animating. I understand that his hands are not quite on the controls. Uh, I didn't get that perfectly. So yeah, so I'm gonna just do a tilt down from here and action. Really smooth uh, gear head shot like that. And so now with the frame like this, I'm gonna change the lighting a little bit cause I'm not that in love with it. So I'm kind of gonna find the sun. There it is, I see it. I lost it there it is. Where did it go? There's the sun, okay. So let's do something like this. Now, okay, ready? And action. Yeah, I don't love the deep volumetrics, but we kind of can still see the volumetric clouds and we can see the uh, inside of the cockpit like this. We're gonna start looking at the blades, which is pretty cool. Uh, it would be awesome if there were people back here, which there isn't, but we could be looking backwards like this. Or we can be, uh, so let's do a shot like this. So we're hand tilted again, I'm looking up at the blades. I come down to our helicopter pilot. All right, we're exposed for that. Pretty cool. I'm gonna zoom in a lot like this and maybe come around looking up at him so we see the blades a little bit, that's kind of cool. And still just staying handheld with it so there's like a little bit of movement, All right? We could even go like, you know, like a little bit of this stuff, like like if the, uh, if the pilot was going down, we would do something like this maybe. We have the wheels here to do a smooth shot, which I'll do. So let's do a couple smooth shots. So we're gonna wait for the reset, All right? And so we're, let's do something like this where we pan over, All right? And we look down at this dude, All right? Pretty cool. 
So there's the helicopter shadow. I'm gonna go up to the plane like this. I'm gonna go back down to the dude. And there's the shadow of the camera. <laughs> Whoops, kind of funny. So if like someone was like hanging off the side with like a gun, that would be kind of cool. Maybe I'll hook that up next time. Uh, and then we can pan back over to our pilot right now. 12 mil is like really, really wide. So I'm gonna just come around the front and zoom in a bit. Catch an angle maybe like, uh, like this with this kind of foreground piece sitting here. So I like the shadows from the blades. Uh, I think if there's like a little camera movement, that might be okay. And it depends on the edit. Uh, I'm thinking maybe like a little bit of wheels movement like this here maybe. Yeah, and so now we're getting like a flare too. It's kind of awesome. I like this shot. Again, these are like kind of like happy accidents, you know? Like we're just uh, grabbing a camera and sometimes we get a flare and sometimes we don't. So this is kind of a cool shot. So I'm doing a thing where like maybe like something's happening to the blades and he's like looking up. And I look at the blades and I come back down. And I like this shot. It has like kind of a cool feel with the flare in it. So now we're inside the helicopter with the pilot here. I can look up at the blades spinning. This is kind of cool. This is like a VR video game pretty much. Uh, kind of a cool shot. If we had things happening on the console, we could do that. We do not. <laughs> and then I can look out at like where we're looking here, like this, like look out the window at that dude. And then back here. So again, we're inside the helicopter, but we're, uh, we're at a much uh, tighter lens than before, 25 mil. And if he was doing action with the, with the joystick throttle thing, it would probably look cool, but he's not currently doing that. And back down like that. So that wraps it up for this vlog. Just a quick look at Unreal Engine 4.25 and just showing it. This is what it can look like. I think I can do it even better. This is really like my first day really messing with it. So new atmosphere, volumetric clouds, and um, just faster ray tracing and rendering overall, which this uh, showcase being outside doesn't really show that all that well. And the new easy switch to handheld, which is a lot of fun still, I, I like doing it. Uh, so like always, if you are interested in learning more about virtual production, learning how to set it up, what gear you need, how do you start to look at LED walls, please join us on the Unreal Engine virtual production Facebook group that I run. And I will see you guys on the next video.